Get round, we'll start with Jerry at the front. Right? Bruno, similar story to the weekend. Lots of shots, lots of possession, but no goals. Yes, uh, we created enough chances to win the game. And two goals is allowed. <laughs> it's executions. Um, the chances they the the boys gave everything. They played with their heart, and, and you can ask for more. Matt, no. Bruno, this might be an impossible question to answer, but do you have any theories about why they just can't take their chances? Cause it's not like it's one player, and it's not like it's one week. It's every week, every week, and good players just not able to. Obviously, they are executions. They are executions, and, and they are in front of the goal. Um, the human beings and the confidence has to be there and, and it's sometimes when one uh, goes in after it's just a consequence and, and we just need to keep helping the boys. Um, they've been going through a lot as well, it's, it's been a tough season for them and as I said, the human beings and uh, still I know they, they miss chances um, but what they could affect the most they was the attitude and, and the effort uh, was there. Is it in training though? Do you see it in training with the misses or <laughs> they score a lot of goals in training. They score a lot of goals. Um, but as I said, it's, it's always coming to a game, it's, it's completely different. It's completely different. And it's, and it's something that, um, yes, um, we've been speaking and we've been working on it and, and we need to keep going. Adrian. Bruno, how, how tough um, has the last sort of 48 hours been for the players? And also, how, what do you think of N'Golo Kante obviously being able to start him again? What are your thoughts on how he did? It's been really difficult for them because it's not the first time they've been in this situation this season. And as a player, you invest a lot on the managers as well. Uh, it's been great relationships, uh, Graham, with the players. And, and, and the players, they suffer. They suffer as well. But uh, Graham has been really supportive with them um, after leaving. And, and you can see that on the pitch today. Uh, Boys gave everything. They they fought and and, and and about Angie is a massive impact for the for the boys, and you can see for the fans as well. Um, it makes players around him uh, even better. Jacob, <coughs> tough 48 hours for the players, but also for you. How did you find tonight? Was, was it strange? Are you glad it's over, or did you enjoy it in a way? It <coughs> difficult to enjoy. It's really difficult to enjoy. Um, it's been really difficult. Sad disappointment, um, but I've just been trying to focus on, on, on being the best version of myself, trying to, to help the boys, um, be supportive, and just focusing on, on hour after hour, day by day. Lady at the front. Hi, um, we have three wingers on the bench. Why was Gallagher your first sub? Because um, Angie uh, is coming back from an injury, um, and our duty as a coach as well is to protect players. And, and what I tried, what we tried, is, is to protect uh, N'Golo Kante. Neil? Uh, first of all, just the technical stuff. Can you just confirm if any of the players not in the squad were injured? Mm. Mamie, Petanelli, Chalabar, Zakaria, Ziyech, David Profan. All fit, just Petanelli. Um, He's doing uh, some recovery, but the rest, uh, they are fit. The main changes tonight seem to be from previously. Three-man midfield with two up front and greater urgency. What was you thinking? How well did it work? Um, it was a four midfield because Joao was more as a ten. It, was, it looked more like a diamond and it's something that that before we've been we've been working on and it's just trying to to understand uh, the spaces. Uh, and I thought the boys they did really well. Uh, we had uh, good possession. We had a uh, counter attacks. Uh, I think we affected the game um, good enough. It, it's not been a massive massive change. Um, just obviously personnel and energy affects the game uh, a lot and affects the the boys. Okay, at all the levels. Last two today, James Ollie and then Tom Body to finish. Bruno, James. I appreciate this is a it's a fluid situation, but as things stand, do you expect to be in charge against Wolves at the weekend? As it stands, I expect uh, to go home and, and, and rest and, and focus on day by day and the owners, uh, they know that the staff, um, they're going to be the most professional that we can. Uh, we're going to try to represent this club the best we can. We know the standards here, we know what it's the man and that's what we're trying to do uh, all the time. Okay, Tom, last one. Hi Bruno, um, we, we spoke to you yesterday in your training afterwards, I believe uh, the co-sporting directors addressed 
the players during that period. Can you give some insight into what was said, who spoke to players, what was said? No, what was said, it was trying to describe the situation, uh, trying to be supportive with the players, and, and that's it. It's, it's not an easy situation for anyone. Um, mm -hmm. Then it's what we need to do is just be together, communicate well, and that's what they tried. Okay, leave it there. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.